Hi, hey Vogue, my name is Rego Jean Page, and today we're getting ready for the Mac. Come on in. My first Mac Gala, what's today's look? What are we thinking? It's gonna be elegant, just like the theme. Timeless, yeah. classic men's grooming. That's what we do all day long. We do simple, exactly. we do natural. We do what you see just a little bit better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got friends who've been watching this for years and I've always kind of not quite got it. I'm like, but what is it? Um, so my expectation today is to find out what is the Met Gala? Other than, you know, the world's most exclusive and powerful fundraising event, um, which is super awesome for the Met because everyone loves the freaking Met. I wish I was a New Yorker just so I could claim some kind of ownership of the Met, uh, but I'm not. And so instead I'll just do my bit. Being invited by Anna Winter is pretty, uh, it's a privilege. I mean, that is one of the most significant and respected women in the world. And so to get that invitation personally is something of an honor. So I'm looking to enjoy it. My expectations are that there's going to be an awful lot to take in. And I just kind of want to be open to all of that, you know? My name is Jean Yang, and I'm dressing reggae for the Met. Today, he is going to be wearing a beautiful velvet Giorgio Armani tuxedo and we have this Swarovski interior lapel. We decided to go with a collarless silk navy shirt and a proper tuxedo pant. That little bit of shine goes all the way down to the shoes. Oh, now it's okay. It's gorgeous. We've got a little bit of extra length. Yeah, I just need that These little arms tiny bit. Stop. There you go. Beautiful. These arms go all the way up. And then, by the way, we need to finish. How did you connect with Armand? Uh, by email, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> Particularly for this project, like for this year's Met. We're talking about classic style, we're talking about timeless style, we're talking about the Gilded Age. Then you're talking about a time when style was changing hugely, particularly American style. And if you're talking about the turn of the century and when people are moving around, different people are having access to glamour, different people have aspiration, the American story is an immigrant story. And so if we're talking Italian fashion that has redefined American fashion, that's Giorgio Armani. Also, it was about opulence, right? I mean, it was oh, yeah. industrialization. And so obviously velvets and shimmer and all these really luxe fabrics are part of the Gilded Age. Oh, they are. And look at that. You look as gilded. You see as... how gilded this is? Like, you don't see it till it moves and it shimmers look at all that. the way through the fabric. Unbelievable. It's subtle, but loud. Let's stop it again. Because we definitely don't have enough navy, this long mm -hmm. jean, I think it works with the sort of old school glamour. Yes. All day long. There's a lovely retro styling to it. There are clean lines. What you're wearing is mm. a Graziella gem pin. And what's amazing is the diamonds are used, sourced with the Kimberly process, which is mm -hmm. an industry standard to make sure everything's ethically sourced. Because Keep I know that's diamonds, important. Kids. Yeah, no, it's important to you. I know that. Queen, the palette of these stones, the way the watch complements it, and all the way down these Swarovskis, I think we're understated, but stated just strongly enough, you know? The red carpet look takes time. You've got to kind of soak it in. Zoolander. Yeah. <laughs> Literally blue steel. Blue steel. Yeah. This is blue steel. Blue motherfucking steel. There you Bleep go. Bleep me, baby. <laughs> blue steel. Recommend this to all young actors. It's like, do some background work because no one's paying attention to you. You get to spy on the pros. And so the best thing about Potter was just like watching Emma Watson between takes and seeing like A, bits of process and B, where to hide your phone between takes. It's all those little things, it all adds up. And so that is what you carry through because then you're just quietly doing your thing for years and years and years and years and years. And then when you're ready to pop that out front and center, you've already been doing this, you've been practicing. And so it's about that, it's about knowing how to quietly just plow that field, water the bamboo, you know? Peace, folks. Mad time. Thanks.